Okay, bakery run is back. We're out here in the west side, but not like that west side. We're far, far out in the bush west side in Titarangi. And uh, we've got a couple of messages. Let me just check them for a second. Awesome, brother. This is from Paul. Awesome, brother. Time to check out the Mill Bakehouse. And then over here, Muffin Eats. It's time for that steak cheese and jalapenos. But uh, we've got a guest that's all about goose stepping his way through people, breaking the lines. Let's go and check him out. Eh? Where was the go-to for you growing up in Kelston, bro? Just like the bakery, Kelston Bakery across the road from school, so oh, it was a lot easier to get to when there was no fences, but now there's a few fences holding all the boys back. Oh, right. So we're all green here, the, the mill bakehouse. We've heard a lot of people give us some good things about this one. Are you into the uh, spice, bro? Are you into the spice at all? No, I'm not really a spice guy, but definitely a steak and cheese, eh? All right, well, let's go and see what their steak and cheese like, eh? Come on, brother. Can we please get, so we're going steak and cheese, eh? Yeah. We're going steak and cheese. Two steak and cheeses. Two steak and cheese. Yeah, and what about, uh, what's our, what's our choice here? What's your sweet thing that everybody buys? Uh, I'm talking about flies, I'm going to find all the brown. Oh, yeah, so what about them? Like we're going to get this one, American, <laughs> American <laughs> Crunch. My America man's from country. America. Oh, uh, hey, well, not really, but he lived in America. <laughs> he doesn't have an accent yet, bro. I, 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 nah, bro, I got an accent, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. All <laughs> oh, right, that's us. It's just these things. Yeah, you want to drink, brother? Nah, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Right, what about a rock star, bro? You're a bit of a rock star. Rock star. Uh, no, New Zealand drink had to be. Oh, New Zealand tree. Oh, right, LMP. Oh, 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 LMP. Oh, you want, you want yeah. LMP, bro? Yeah, because okay. yeah. it's the first time in New Zealand, so. Yeah, uh, okay. There we oh, go, bro. Amazing. You have to have this, bro. Oh, yeah, this okay? Is... It's one of our drinks that we have. Oh, yeah. It's a cultural drink, bro. Let's <laughs> chuck it up here, eh? That's all. And that's it. Thank you. Lucky, bro. Lucky, eh? Payday. Oh, it's payday today for me, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much. And we'll be outside. Thank you. Hope we have to do the runners. All right, my bro, so um, when you get back, you know, because America's your, that's where you play rugby, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. DC? Yeah, yeah, Washington DC. Have they got any pies there? Have you, have you seen any pies like this in America? That's what I want to know. Nah, nah, no pies there. I, I think it's just all pumpkin pies. Yeah, the, whatever they have for like, you know, their Thanksgiving and all that, but nah. Definitely no steak and cheese pies. Because when you say pie to them, they mean those cherry pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? Yeah. And the, the fruit stuff, like apple pies. And like the rocks. The rock pie. Well, oh, <laughs> Boontang pie, brother. <laughs> hey, I get you. The, and the strudel, bro. The people strudel. The strudel, strudel. Bro, we're just going to get onto wrestling talk for the whole time here, brother. If you, if you want to go there, brother. Uh, Uncle Dwayne. Uh, bro. <laughs> okay, bro. All right. So, steak and cheese, bro. What's your top tips for a good steak and cheese? What, what do you need to have in this? Definitely the cheese. Yeah. And then the steak, eh? If it's, it's, it's not too hard, but it's nice Should and we? chewy. Nice and chewy. Okay. And then the pastry is just nice and, you know, not too hard, not too soft, but it's just medium, mate. Eh? All right, so integrity, but that's the two is another thing. Nice strong pie, you know. Oh, yeah. And they got, you know, you put it upside down, it's not falling off. Oh, oh yeah, you can. Too, not like a goosey, bro. Heck city. <laughs> All right, bro, two bites to the, two bites to get some steak. We'll see what, what happened, bro. On you. It's actually not too bad, eh? Not pastry. Too bad? Yeah. Quite yeah, thick, so, eh? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Really thick. Like it's got a, if you're into pastry, and good pastry, it's not yeah. bad, but very thick. And yeah, it's, it's got a good taste to it. Were you happy with the uh, tenderness of it? Yeah. Yep. Because I could, you know, you could bite through it, and it wasn't so mm. like, you're know, having like 10 bites at one. Yeah. It was quite like, they used a lot of pepper on that one. For me, bro, like, um, I think the pastry, it's a good pie. Like I'm not saying it's not pastry there there's a lot of pastry on the top mm. and it's hard to you know you always want to get this going on you know yeah. like a hard break the line you know just like you do bro no, just break bro. the line not much breaking the line here but yeah this is this is a strong defense of a this is a, this is a Adi Savia tackle of a of you know you can't just break the line quick on it you know what they say good things take time oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> bro, what do you get off <laughs> the bakery bro. not the, not the <laughs> philosopher this ain't not Hey, this ain't Uncle Phil, this ain't Dr. Phil, my bro. This ain't Dr. Phil. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, you've been in America for too long. Oh, long, sorry, bro. bro. You've been yeah. a little bit too philosophical <laughs> on this one, bro. All right, so I'm gonna, we're gonna go out of 10, bro. All right, 10 being the best you've ever had. What do you reckon, brother? I'd have to go with a seven. I like how you did that. No, I was gonna go a seven. 
I'm with you. I'm not it's copying. A seven. Definitely a seven. If there's anybody I need to copy, it's you. <laughs> but right now, I'm gonna go seven as well. I think the toughness of the pastry was a bit. You gotta. Yeah. Get in. You want a soft pastry, but you don't want it to be so soft that everything falls out. Some thick layers, eh? But it's very thick layers. Very extremely thick layers. Not bad. Um, Gravy-wise, a little bit. Could be a bit better. I think it's too much pepper. I don't know. Yeah. That's maybe my thing. You're not a spicy guy. Eh? No. So yeah, I'm a seven on that one. Yeah, but it does have that aftertaste of pepper eh? mm. when you bite it. Solid. Good you know, cheese oh, content. Yeah. Cheese is good in it. I got I got quite a lot of cheese. But yeah, I'm gonna go with the seven, bro. You want the seven? No, I'm right. seven. But um, you're heading over back to America, maybe? Yeah, yeah. So I've oh, obviously been in America for the last. Half. For last four years in Washington DC playing in MLR for All Glory DC and that's um, yeah I'm meant to be going over for another season and uh, in the next, next season coming uh, yeah it's been good like just seeing the growth of the game in America bro dude, you haven't even tried your LMP bro oh bro. you gotta tell the story of why uh, I love uh, the LMP the LMP no 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 they saw it over here <laughs> so we went, we went in there and, they, and I was like hey my bro's from America oh you gotta try the LMP man you gotta try it Lemon and Pairoa. Shout out to uh, Rev's Motorcycle for giving me my full license down in Pairoa. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. That's smart. That's smart going doing your uh, license out, out of Auckland. Yeah, I had That's to. Smart, it was a motorbike license, so Jeez. no traffic lights, eh? Just. Have you got a bike? Yeah. What are you, what are you, driving, what are you riding around on? No, I'm just on a, just a rod. Nifty 50. <laughs> Nifty Sorry, 50. Vista. Vista. Nah. <laughs> No, I just got myself a Harley muscle suit. Yeah. Bro, we should have had a pose on that, G. I thought you were going to roll up in your Harley. It's not my area, bro. Oh. <laughs> it's not my area, bro. It's not, this ain't my hood, man. Bro, I don't have the patch for this place. <laughs> <laughs> just pumpkin patch around here, bro. You know? Yeah, bro. American Crunch. Let's see what this is all about, eh? I think it's, I'm going to guess, bro. It's just the Afghan. That's the crunch, bro. That's the name that gets you, yeah, man. Okay, when yeah. you eat it, it's a normal cookie. <laughs> oh. Mm. I don't know what it is, bro. But my voice is changing, bro. <laughs> How's it going there, partner? Hey, <laughs> hey it's good, bro. It's, hey, hey, it's what, hey, man, this is <laughs> definitely an American crunch, bro. Holla at me, brother. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Yo, this hella good, bro. Hey, man. Yo, man, I was out here at the Mill Bake House, homie. Had me, had my. How am I going with this, bro? Is that all right? You're going good, bro. Bro, I had me an Americana Crunch, my G. <laughs> oh, yo, man. Y'all got me an LMP. Ooh. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> it just tastes like coconut rough. Mm. Like, uh, it was like an Afghan slash coconutty kind of brownie. It was a half brownie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was an Afakasi. It was an Afakasi Crunch. <laughs> it wasn't that American. It was more uh, Hawaiian, I would say. So there's not really much crunching in it. Nah, except for the, yeah, nah. Yeah, I'm see. going there, ask for a refund. <laughs> hey, so we get, can we get some more crunch in this? We put some more uh, Coco Pops in this or something. I'm gonna, I'll start us off, bro. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with a seven again for this one. Mm. It's not like revolutionary, it's not gonna nah. change your life. But at the same time, you know, if you want a little bit of a sweet taste that's not going to hurt your teeth when you bite into it, it's nice and soft, I'll give it that. I'll go seven as well. It's not really living up to the name, eh? Mm. Yeah. You're going to say American Crunch. Americans do it big too, so for starters, it's small. Oh. Hey. Americans do it big. You know? she, that's why she probably said you're from America. <laughs> <laughs> she probably go, hey, that's a small fella from America, eh? <laughs> hey. hey, you have a small yeah. American Crunch. <laughs> So looking after the youth, bro. You're out here looking after the youth out West Auckland for a bit, man. Yeah, That's yeah. Been really re rewarding stuff. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's, um, you know, I think times are tough during these, you know, especially during these days. It's, um, you know, I think, it, you know, the youth are a lot more exposed to things that we probably weren't back in our day. And, you know, just trying to help them navigate through that. And, you know, um, whatever it is, eh, whether it just be hanging out with them, eh, it's, um, you know, it does go a long way just being present. And like we were speaking about earlier, eh, just showing up on time when you tell them uh, you want to pick, you're going to pick them up at 7.30, turn up, 7.30, ready to go. So right, bro. So. Because structure is something that a lot of these kids miss out on, you know? And, and uh, you know, that's all they need is someone to be in their corner, right? Eh? Yeah, and I think, you know, it's like, 
a lot of people complicate like working with youth, mm. but it's just a simple like side by side. I don't know, just like conversations. Finding out who they are, right? As people. But yeah, much needed mahi, bro. bro it's interesting, eh? Like having you on, like that, because before a long time, right? It's been play rugby, try to be all black. That's that's the thing, but. For somebody like yourself that went a different direction, yeah, man, it must be so rewarding, bro. Like you know, to, yeah, yeah. to make a living and make your life doing other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Well, you know, I guess always like just like every other ki Kiwi kid growing up here in New Zealand, especially in Auckland. You know, you always want to be an All Black, but I guess um, you know I wasn't really the best mm. growing up, and you know, obviously, you know, I made choices that affected you know whatever um, you know my footy was back then, and. So then, you know, I came out of school and not really didn't know what I wanted to do and then just, you know, jump from job to job yeah. sort of thing. You know, long story short, I just, you know, hit that point where like, damn, I should do something with myself. Yeah. And then I just decided to put my hand up for, you know, Samoa Sevens and, you know, I think from Samoa Sevens, I think everything kicked off from there and then, you know, I've just been very lucky and fortunate that, uh, you know, that, that coaches that have selected me have just given me the chance and then, you know, I've been able to just prove myself, eh? Because, you know, uh, it's always it's always a thing, you know, always training or playing off a chip on your shoulder because you want to prove not only to everyone but to yourself that you're worthy to be where yeah, you are and, yeah. and you know, that's why being in America is awesome. But you mean, like, in terms of super rugby and stuff, or Moana yeah. Pacifica, uh, Fiji and uh, Tirua, yeah. like, it's... Like those are opportunities that we wouldn't have if you, you wouldn't have had when you were coming. Nah, man, and I, and I, it's and an I, order too. Yeah, I think it's awesome that they have these teams to uh, give the opportunity for the young ones that may not make the Blues, Crusaders, or your Highlanders. You know, but everyone wants to play Super Rugby. You know, Super Rugby is the best. You know, regardless of what people say about it. You know, it's always it's, it's just you know your your favorite players, your favorite All Blacks get to play. The cool thing about and like I always go on about Moana Pacifica because I love it, bro. Like that's my team. Like because you know like hey that's my race. But you get um, Sekupi, like you get yeah. a young dude, and then you get someone like Sekupi who can ha like talk and and help and the yeah. veterans help the young ones. Well, even you got Jules now. Yeah, Jules is gonna be and that's I think that's a massive like shift for Moana. Like you know someone like Julian who's a legend of the game. You know who's you know, one yeah. World Cup, done it all, and you know he's going to be here in Auckland. Yeah. You know, representing Moana. So you know, I'm looking forward to watching him so, so good, play in those colours too. So, yeah. thank you so much, bro, for your time and coming on through, brother. Nah, thanks really for having me, bro. It, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Wow. The vibe is strong here, bro. The chemistry. We yeah, need man. to come over. We need to come oh, and do the bakery. Bro, can I go as well. We need a partner for you. Hit me up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You know it, brother. We'll go, we'll go field it. reporting, bro. Let's do it, bro. Yeah, but I won't take you to the rugby, bro. I'll take you to like nah, bowls or something nah, like that. Don't. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we'll golf? What is yeah. it? Swimming? You're playing a bit of golf now. Nah, 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 nah. Come on now, bro. Nah, yeah, I, I'll go with the boys. Like, a lot of boys, a lot of footy boys they love it, love that, eh? bro. But I don't have the patience, bro. Nah, it's too I'll just walking. sit in the. Yeah. Well, You're a runner. I, I was going to say, I sit in the go kart, but have oh. you been walking, bro? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I've been walking a little bit, you know? <laughs> To the to the bakery and back, but uh, yeah. But thank you, my brother, so no, much. Thanks, brother. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that's for us. Me on.